Thrifting is not only a fantastic way to get creative with your clothing, but also reduces our carbon footprint and saves money while creating a wardrobe or home decor unique to you. We went on the local scene to Local Mystique, a small shop in Plymouth, to see why people are enjoying the art of the thrift. It was just something that I've been doing for so long, thrifting, and uh, the more I did it, the older I got, the more I started to uh, pick out more quality items and then basically just kind of realized that I was acquiring all these items that I was then gifting to people and just kind of realized that maybe we could all put our heads together and you know if our friends are liking what we're giving them then maybe other people will like what we can find too. Sam has always been a big thrifter and she's found so many unique items over the years and hanging out with her we've learned how to hunt and dig and find those cool things and you know we've always wanted to share with other people and Katie had the idea and uh, kind of the ball just started rolling and the momentum was just gradual and uh, it's just took off from there. We're a thrift art and antique shop. Um, we've been around for almost two years now. It'll be two years in December and we sell secondhand items. Sam, our co-owner with us here, she's been big into thrifting her whole life and we really just wanted to do something together and we'd go out thrifting and on our own and, and separately and just see the things that people had in the businesses and um, we really just thought that it would be something fun for us to do and we didn't think that it would come to fruition anytime in the near future but once the idea came to us we really started looking and we found the place to rent and then the rest just came together. It started off with us finding everything. We didn't really accept much of any donations in the beginning. Now we're getting a bit more as time goes on, um, but with that we have to be more selective because we have such limitations with the space and we're also trying to have such a specific idea in mind. So yeah, we'll spend hours scouring the internet, Facebook Marketplace, we found a lot of unique things, auctions, yard sales, other thrift stores if we have the time. You know, I'm always out there hunting at yard sales, estate sales, uh, any curb alerts, anything like that, you know, something that might have ended up at a landfill or, or in the trash. Depending on the place, you have to really dig, which is the fun of it all, you know, so if you have the time, then that's probably my favorite way to find stuff is to just go out and dig for hours. We really like the concept of using secondhand items. There's a lot of stuff out in the world already, so we feel like having a thrift shop allows people to get items that are already in existence that are a lot of times a lot cooler than you would get in your big box stores and it's saving the planet from just more waste and throwing things away. I mean we'll reuse everything we get down to the bags that people bring in with you know things that they're selling to us or you know we reuse everything that we can as much as we can and if we can find it clean it up give it a, a new home that that's the main mission here. We have all walks of life, and that's what's so great about it. We have young people, we have older people, um, just people from all different backgrounds. And so there's certain people who like to buy certain items, but, but we really have such a huge mix of customers that it's hard to, to pinpoint a specific type. Right now I'm seeing a lot of younger kids buying vinyl, more younger kids going for vintage clothing. And then depending on what it is, you know, like, our stained glass lamps or like home decor is probably more older people, but yeah, it just depends on what it is, I guess. But we like to have antiques for the older generation. We like to have fun stuff for uh, younger people. Uh, just try to have a mix of everything. Uh, one of my favorite days that I had here was three generations of ladies came in and each one of them was able to find something here and that made me feel so good. You're really seeing this upward momentum with the younger kids. It's cool to thrift, and I just think that's so amazing because it always has been cool, but I'm really psyched that people are realizing that finally. So just, yeah, just thrifting in general is like, people are down to reuse things finally, and I'm loving to see it. We get people that are local to the community. We have people that uh, travel here. They hear, see us online or hear about us from friends and we'll travel down. We actually had a couple from Sweden that was on vacation here in Plymouth 
you know, just stop by randomly. And we got a picture from them, a mirror and a record that we sold them, made it all the way to Sweden and uh, we got to see it decorated in their living room. So we literally get people from all over the world here. My favorite piece I'd say is the pants that I'm wearing today that I was able to get second hand and they were barely used and I just love them. This is something I would never be able to buy brand new and I just think that they're so fun and, and vintage looking. Oh my God. Well, almost everything I have is thrifted. I would have to say my jackets, like I have so many favorite jackets and my boots and shoes. It's hard to say which one, but always looking for shoes and I have such a thing for jackets and I have some of the most amazing jackets I've ever seen. This is a thrifted shirt. I love, uh, you know, all the vintage shirts where you can get the wolves, the dragons. I love all those kinds of things. Um, I grew up the youngest of four boys, so thrifting was, you know, necessary in our house. So, uh, you know, with a limited budget, you know, if you could find something for cheap that was really cool, you know, you couldn't afford to get it brand new at a store. So thrifting was a part of our life. It's not something I grew up with, but as I got older, um, it's something that I started doing more of and, and really just going to antique shops and just unique, eclectic little shops. And really as I got older, that's where I got into it more and more. Um, and then Sam was a big influence in that as well because it's something she's always been passionate about. So she kind of would bring us out and, and we'd see what kind of things we could get and the gifts she would give us. And we said, wow, this is a lot cooler than things that we could go out and buy on our own and so then that's really what got us into it. It's been like my way of letting off steam for as long as I can remember. I literally got off the highway a few months ago in California because I was overwhelmed by how many lanes there were and I found the nearest thrift store and I went there and I spent a couple hours just like letting off steam and that's what I've always done. Whenever I have spare time around here especially, eventually I'd have my phone in my hand and I'd start looking up where this came from and how much it's worth and you know the dig and the hunt and the you know treasure hunt of it all. It's going really well um, since we've opened up in the middle of the pandemic so we didn't really know what to expect but it's steadily increased we've had a lot of positive support from the community and at this point more and more people know about us and then the days are getting busier and busier. We're already talking about our next spot and how where it's going to be and how much bigger and how much more space we're gonna have for things. I see it going somewhere big, I do. For more information on Local Mystique, visit localmystique.com or find the store on Facebook. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.